Hey guys, thought I'd give you a quick update on the progress with the EG4 Magnum solar power system. So about two or three weeks ago I switched over from the Trojan batteries over to the new lithium EG4s. These are the LL version 2s. Got six of them, 30 kilowatt hours. Uh, so far it's been working great. Um, major change. The two biggest changes I think are number one I used to use the transfer switches all day long switching things on and off between solar and utility now uh, they stay on solar all the time I haven't even switched them off once I don't think the only thing I'm switching off and on now is the water heater so I'm still kinda of messing with that I turn it on around 11 o'clock when the sun's up and producing a lot of power so right now it's about 9 30 10 in the morning and we're cranking out looks like about 7,000 watts coming off the arrays we were burning five six thousand watts in the house it looks like it dropped just now but I got four space heaters a mini split televisions computers everything's running off of the solar the except for the water heaters not on yet and that's the only thing I gotta watch because I'm limited to eight, oh, well, about 9,000 watts up there. So if I'm burning seven on heaters, I can't have the water heater come on. So that's kind of my limitation right now. Uh, but we're, you can see we're charging up, we're at 42%. Now I've been running between about 40 and 100%. So by the end of the day, we're totally topped off. And then I get down to about 40%. Now that's really a huge change because I used to top this bank off about midday and then I was wasting power for the rest of the day. There was no place I wasn't using it. It wasn't going into a battery. Now I can push all that back into that battery so we're not wasting any uh, sunshine basically. We're capturing all that power where we used to be throwing it away. So on a sunny day I can easily get 40 kilowatt hours a day now out of this system so that's great I think it's uh, it's been pretty good I don't know that I'm even gonna need to keep this old battery bank so I might put this up for sale who knows uh, we'll see I guess I could keep it as a backup so one other advantage is that now we can run space heaters and the mini split overnight to stay warm so before if we had a power outage or something uh, we could hold up most of our stuff but it would be difficult to run heaters overnight and we didn't have enough battery so now we do we can run this and we have a good way to stay warm same is true for air conditioning in the summer we can run the mini split and an air conditioner overnight so that's a big advantage so again the two big advantages are that number one I'm not switching those transfer switches all day between utility and solar they just stay on solar all the time except for the water heater and with the added capacity of the lithium now I'm not throwing away any of our power because we drain it down to 30% and then we soak up all that energy all day long and use it overnight. So yeah, I spent about $10,000 for the six batteries and the uh, rack, 30 kilowatt hours, but it should last at least 20 plus years, I think, hopefully. And I'm just really happy with it. So uh, good peace of mind. I know we've got power no matter what. You know, brownouts, rolling blackouts, whatever you want to call it. You don't have to worry about it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I'll give you a little sneak peek here of what I'm working on now. Back on the old chicken coop. So maybe I'll do an update on that tomorrow. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.